Hi, this is David with All One Vehicle Registration Service here in the city of Yucatan, California. Today I want to talk to you about motor scooter registration. What are some of the requirements? You know, what exactly is a motor scooter? We'll talk about, you know, if a motor scooter uh, needs to be registered or not. Uh, what are some of the legal requirements once you're riding a motor scooter and where you can ride the scooter in itself? Okay, so first off, according to the California law, Okay, or actually per the California Department of Motor Vehicles, a motorized scooter is a two-wheel device that has handlebars, a floorboard designed to be stood upon when riding, and is powered by a motor. Pretty simple, right? So you're standing up on it, and you're riding around, it's got the handlebars, you know, and then, you know, that's considered a motor scooter. So, some people think, well, I have to have it registered. Well, that's not the case. California Vehicle Code basically does not require that you register a motor scooter as long as it of course falls within that definition that we described earlier. Now, here's the thing though, is that there are some, uh, you know, local authorities such as the cities and things of that nature that might require certain ordinances or laws that uh, require you to register to be operated in certain areas, kind of like with golf carts, some places require them, require that they be registered, okay? Now, like I said, you don't have to have them registered. It's not a requirement to write them in the general street unless your city actually requires it. It's pretty much, you don't have to do that. Okay, now we understand you don't have to register if the city doesn't require it and where you live. And the other question is, what about when I write it? Do I need a helmet? How old do I have to be? Well, you have to be at least 16 years of age. Okay, all right, no, I'm not at least. I just say you have to be 16 years old to write it and you must have a helmet to write it, okay? Now here's the other question is, well, where can I ride my scooter? You know, once I get it, you know, where are the places that I can go where I'm not going to get a ticket or get in trouble with the police, what can I do or where can I go? Well, you can ride your scooter pretty simple in three basic areas, on a bike path, on a trail, or a bike away. Okay, there is one other area. Now, if you're not going to be on a bike path or a bike trail because they, you know, California understands not all cities and areas have bike paths, right? So some places you might just have to be on the roadway. Now, if you're on the roadway, you have to ride in the bicycle lane, okay? If there's no bicycle lane, then you have to ride in an area where the, scooter, where the speed limit is no more than 25 miles per hour because the scooters usually pretty much don't go too fast. Am I right? Unless, of course, some of you are out there modifying them, and I know none of you would do that. So if you have a, you know, and if, if the, like I said, if the bike lane is unavailable, it has to be in an area where it's 25 miles per hour, and if that's the case, you have to ride it as close to the right-hand edge of the roadway as possible. So it's pretty simple. I mean, it's real easy. And it's lots of fun, you know, to, to have any scooters and ride them around and have a good time. But, you know, it's, it's no fun if you're going to get a ticket or something's going to happen or you get taken away. So you want to do things right, you know, the first time out. But I want you to know you didn't have to register. It's not necessary. And some things that you do need to do and where you can go. So if you have any further questions, you can call me, David, at 909 810 and you can also email me, David, at carregistrationcity.com. And I also encourage you to visit us at our website at carregistrationcity.com. We look forward to hearing from you and talking to you soon. Take care and be safe.